Hello guys, welcome back. In today's class, we want to talk about Python's length function. Given a little piece of wood, I can decide to measure up its length, right? On the same note, in Python, the length of a string leaks to tuples and sets can be measured. Right there on the screen, looking at you, are four variables, x1, t1, l1, and sect1. Having a string tuple list and sect assigned onto them respectively. Now in Python, the length function is the length function. Now don't be confused if you've come across functions before. Take for example, all this while we've been typing something like this print, then I'll open and close my parentheses. Print is a function in Python. And it's a function we use to write something to the screen. For example, if I decide to say I want to print X1 to the screen, fine, you see DK Chris Academy is printed to the screen. You are used to that, right? Now, it's not just only the print function. There are many functions like this. We call them inbuilt functions. All you do is you type the function name. In this example, is length. Then inside the parentheses, you can fit in any argument. So for the print function, we fit in the x1 argument. So for length uh, function, we can still fit in the variables. Hope you understand. So they are inbuilt functions, functions built by Python that we can use to perform, you know, some functions in Python. So with time to come, we'll talk about um self-defined function which are the functions we build for ourselves okay but for now we're just calling python's inbuilt functions okay so back to the length function so we use the length function to kind of calculate the length of this individual data so if i go ahead and fit in x1 as an argument inside the length function when i hit enter you see that it returns 15 okay so from the diagram on the right hand side you find out that the count of x1 is actually 15 starting from d which is 1 all through to y so when you count it including the space in between dk crease and academy it will total 15. so for a string the length of the string is just the individual characters that made up the string blocks the spaces in between the individual weights as simple as that so if i go ahead there and say i want to find the length of maybe a, a string inside there i'll just type common in you know i'll hit enter i see it gives me 10 so if you count common in you see that the length is actually 10 as simple as that so if i call the length function and um i feed in this time t1 guess what it returns four because actually I have four items inside the tuple T1 rat, dog, lion, and donkey. So, length function this time I will feed the list L1. You see, it returns eight. And now it's time for the sect. So, when I feed in the sect variable, then I call the length function. Then inside the parentheses, I'll fit in sect one. All right, so when I hit enter, observe it gives me seven. But if we take our time to count, the items inside sect one is actually A, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So why is the length function giving me seven? If you can remember, take your mind down when we discussed the sect data type, we told you that it's a unique collection, so repetition is not allowed. So when you study this, you find out that A is repeated two times, also C is repeated two times. So when Python is counting with the length function, it doesn't recognize the repetitions, it only takes one of the two that is why we had seven here all right act simple as that all right guys with that we come to the end of today's class thanks for joining us
and bye for now.